Welcome or welcome back to the motherfucking channel. I haven't said that intro in my past two to three videos. I let a lot of people get in my head about this whole YouTube thing. You need to be more conservative and you need to da da da. I don't give a fuck. I realized that I'm not gonna get anywhere with this if I'm not my 110% raw self. My raw self curses a motherfucking lot. So, welcome back to the motherfucking channel, guys. I missed you. I really been grinding, guys. So I told myself today was gonna be like a reset day for the week. I Since I woke up, I have been talking to myself and to my phone. Talking to nobody. Talking to nobody but me. So, my last video was my refined photo shoot, like, day in the life video. It was amazing. Go watch it. I'll put it up here. I was, like, go, go, go all day. I left the house at, like, 10 a.m. I was out all day. I came home. I was exhausted. I didn't clean up anything. And normally, Sundays are my Sunday reset days. So, today, we're gonna Sunday reset for the week. Let's fix my hair. Um, I don't feel like fucking with this, so we're gonna put in some hair oil and my clips and go make some breakfast. Brush my teeth, I did my skincare. My new revelation, realization, is that what is meant for you will always happen. It will always happen when you are ready for it. So the past two weeks i want to say i've really been struggling like with putting so much pressure on myself rushing myself to do this and do that and i need to do this i need to do this perfectly and i need to i need to act like this and i need to have these habits and i need to da -da 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 -da. no i need to take one thing at a time and don't think i'm contradicting myself by what i said in my past two videos because yeah being uncomfortable causes growth but just because that's what causes growth doesn't mean you need to be super uncomfortable all the time i'm still in my uncomfortable era but i'm giving myself more grace i'm not letting what other people say to me get to me i'm not putting as much pressure on me as much literally baby steps everything is baby steps and one step forward is progress it doesn't matter how long it takes it doesn't matter point blade period like, if you clicked on this video if your intuition told you to click on this video just listen to what i have to say because this was not a planned video i was not supposed to film today but i don't know there's just something in me i woke up and i was like oh my god it's my it's my fuck it my throat chakra was screaming i say a lot of good shit so i get very anxious i get very overwhelmed i get very manic i was listening to a lot of people's advice of like you need to be this you need to do this you need to have this routine you need to do this every day you can't do this you shouldn't do this da -da. long story short my first message of this video is you know you better than anybody else anybody else advice is an amazing thing guidance is an amazing thing having people that care about you who want to give you advice is a beautiful thing but realistically advice is just words that's all it is you decide how it affects you and you decide if you want to take it and how you want to take it and the one of the realizations that i made is that a lot of people commenting on this whole journey that i'm on and like commenting on what i want to do and how i'm doing what i'm doing it's just me and my life i kind of realized i was like do you want to be them like if if you could would you choose their life would you be more like them and my answer was no for every single person i let it into my head so take with that what you will yeah you babe you know you best you know what's meant for you also i'm gonna be burping in this video i've been cutting out my burping in the past three videos i'm not doing that shit no more i don't care anymore because long story short if you guys want me to talk about it i touched on it in my lip video but i've been having a lot of stomach issues and my esophagus is fucked up you don't know what es what your esophagus is it's the part of your stomach that's right here so like i'm not allowed to use straws anymore i'm not allowed to smoke anymore like air i'm not allowed to you know but so basically the flap of my esophagus is constantly like this it's okay because it's not the worst thing in the world. Burping is normal. You're gonna be sick of me in today's video, but it's okay. 
I got this journal at Target yesterday and then I found this old journal of mine and then let me explain before I show you my room and before we go make some food and get to everything. Yesterday, I was in Target and we were buying journals, like we were looking for journals. You should be journaling, period. It doesn't matter what the fuck you're journaling about. You should be journaling. You should be writing shit down. Your feelings, your thoughts, your wants, your everything. What you're grateful for, your goals. Write it down. Write it down. If you're not gonna do that don't be complaining about why your brain is clouded as fuck this is my manifestation journal manifestation spiritual journal and then i'm trying to decide which one out of these two i want to be my diary and which one i want to be my work journal and i'm gonna go through it with you guys too manifesting planning out work and diary i'm pretty than a motherfucker who's we looking okay we are going to start with making my coffee i'm gonna show you guys how i do it and everything i use i don't know if you guys know this about me some of you might i've gone through different phases in my life where i drink different kinds of milk and different amounts of milk i'm a firm believer that you should drink whatever kind of fucking milk you want to drink it literally does not matter milk is milk if you do your research there are cons to every kind of milk there is. So do your own research, talk to your own doctor, and figure out what kind of milk is best for you. Because also we're making instant coffee. I'm instant coffee queen. One thing I have picked up on is that I've encountered two spiritual awakenings in my life. This is my second one and my biggest one. I'm not drinking cow milk as much, like a little bit, but like as much. And there's like medical reasons to it, but it's just so weird to me because now I think about my first spiritual awakening and I wasn't drinking cow milk either. Right now, I'm drinking almond milk. This is the creamer. Oh, my mom called me. My battery is flashing again. I'm going to show you guys how I make my scrambled eggs sometimes. I know I'm crooked. Don't talk about it. This is how you can make yummy scrambled eggs that are healthy. That have veggies and taste motherfucking good. If your eggs are white, throw them out. And we are going to be cutting up an onion, putting baby spinach, Canadian bacon, and monster cheese. For my attitude, Try to take it. It's so fucking good. hospital bills. I'm not even gonna look at it, but this country is so fucked up. I didn't make a mess. Oh, can I taste it? It looks so yummy. That way, if I like it, next time you make it for me. What, what are the ingredients? Amazing. I know it's amazing. It's talking shit about my fucking yeah, socks. My <laughs> Why are you talking shit about my Your socks? Father, the first time we went on a date, he was wearing a yellow turn -turn turtleneck. <laughs> I almost never liked him at all. Because of the yellow turtleneck. We're gonna watch the circle. Quick note. You bitches need to eat. You need to fucking eat. So if you're watching this video and it's like 4 p.m. And all you had was coffee and your fucking vape. Go eat, bitch. I'm still on my circle kick. I am fucking obsessed. Tell me where did all the magic go? I followed the rules and told you everything you had to know. Had you over every night. Let me tell you guys. Obviously, I'm changing 
it because of the cat hair. I don't know if you guys see this. I almost set my entire room on fire a couple days ago. My angels did that shit. They really did. And I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. <laughs> The chapter that I'm reading right now is kind of about the way you talk to yourself and your beliefs about yourself and your capability and how that manifests into your reality. How self-love affects your reality, your vibration, your future, your manifestations, it affects your relationships. A chapter that I just read was all about having the mindset of like, I am worthy, I deserve, and like the way that you talk to yourself. But like, if deep down you are being a mean bitch to yourself and like you don't think you deserve certain things, that shit manifests. So like, let's say you, you really want a job, right? You want to manifest a job. You need to tell yourself every day, I deserve that job. I am worthy of that job. I am getting that job. I already have that job because I deserve it and I am worthy of it. And see what that does for you. Because if you have the mindset of like, oh my God, I'm so scared. I don't know if I'm qualified enough. I don't know this. You're not going to get the job. And if you do get the job, you're not going to do it right. The first chapter was about the science behind manifesting. It has to do with energy and how everything has energy and your subconscious and all that stuff, right? The more you live every day with the higher vibrational emotions, the better you do, the better you feel, the more you grow, the more you're able to manifest. So the top one is unconditional love, peace, joy, gratitude kindness enthusiasm optimism hope confidence contentment indifference apathy annoyance worry anxiety sadness jealousy anger despair guilt hatred and fear so if you live in a reality where your day-to-day -day you are feeling a lot of hatred guilt anger jealousy worry babe I'm sorry to break it to you, but you are not going to get where you want to get. You're really not. Ever since I came home, I've been reading a lot of self-help books and doing a lot of like meditating and journaling. And that shit's really helpful. It really, really is. I'll put right here what time in the video I'm going to journal. So if you guys like want my advice on that, you can just go to that time. <sighs> okay, guys, I'm getting a freaking headache cooking water and i'm about to eat this while i finish editing i don't want to edit right now i truly don't i truly want to lay in bed and watch tv but i need to be done i hate having headaches i will speak to you guys when to why another video if you're still here you're a real one i'm grateful for you how how potent your energy is and how important you are and, I, and i'm hearing also some of you guys can meditate with them and if you do, you're not sure how to meditate we can much later i am going to be journaling in a couple different ways first i'm going to explain to you how i'm going to journal tonight and as i do that i'm going to put on a face mask 
Earlier in the video, I told you guys my different journals and how I use them differently and my new ones. Tonight, I think the main things I'm going to journal is I'm going to write my gratitude, obviously. I feel like if you are trying to do anything in your spiritual journey or even like mental health journey, it has to always begin with gratitude and yes i'm repeating myself i'm going to keep repeating myself then next i am going to write down my affirmations i'm going to write down affirmations about myself but also when i'm writing down my affirmations i'm going to be mindful of the things i'm trying to manifest in my life or continue to manifest I decided it's very important for me to kind of stay on track on reflecting on what I talk about in therapy but also prior to therapy to really like structure what I want to talk about and what is important for me to talk about just so I'm getting the most out of my therapy sessions because I realize sometimes I kind of, I don't know, we wake up feeling different every day things happen if i wake up feeling overwhelmed i realize that sometimes i just enter therapy and i just brain dump and i just talk and i talk and i talk and then the session is over before she could even really like explain to me you know she she does a great job in like getting what she needs to say in and what i need to hear in but I don't know i haven't done it too much but i just i really i refuse to make that a pattern because there's no point in being in therapy if you are not putting your all and i am but i just want to be more mindful because i am making so much progress it's changed me for the better but i want to continue to make even more progress the third thing that i'm gonna do is i am going to take what i read today from the manifestation book and i'm gonna kind of just practice it basically you write down certain affirmations that are connected to the things you want to manifest and change about your life and your mindset and how you feel about yourself and things like that kind of write them down in post-it notes and put them somewhere that you could see them every day so you can repeat them to yourself every day i'm not sure where i read this or when i read this but it was recent that our minds have like a certain amount of thoughts a day and most of them are from our subconscious so just be mindful of the things you say to yourself about yourself it really does After Bernie Sanders, I showered, did my skincare, brushed my teeth, I made some chamomile tea, and then we gonna put some manifestation music and light my candles and do do the thing, you know. I do my skincare first though because I, I I was making my tea and my I felt my skin shriveling up. Also, if you are not flossing. That's staying in because I told myself I was going to keep my burping in because I should not be embarrassed. I'm putting hyaluronic acid on right now. but And after I say this, I'm going to tell you guys everything I just did. But um, if you guys aren't flossing, please floss. 
because I am 19 years old and I have receding gums. I mean, not on my teeth, it's like on two teeth, but, and it's, it's not crazy, but like, that's crazy. That's freaking crazy. At 19, to have receding gums, and she told me, she said it was for three reasons. The first one being the fact that I was so depressed, so I wasn't really taking care of my teeth, because I brushed my teeth too hard. Third one, um, the fact that I wasn't flossing or flossing properly, so I got a soft bristle brush and floss. I need aqua for my lips. So... No! Are you Coco? Okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I forgive you. Life hack. I put castor oil with my moisturizer. You guys saw me writing on post-it notes. The pages that really stood out to me that I read today. I'm... Let me just read the paragraph above it, but it's all about like mantra ideas, which I'm still starting to learn about for the first time, you know. Um, but so here are some mantra ideas to get you started. Choose one or two things a week and repeat it five times every morning and every evening. As you read them now, repeat them to yourself slowly a couple of times and see for yourself just how quickly you can shift your energy. I already knew this with just saying things out loud and writing them down but like i've never done this you know so we're trying it out we're seeing how much of a difference it makes like whatever you need to work on is what your affirmations should look like you're insecure i love myself i am beautiful you are struggling in school i am an amazing student i am a hard-working student I effortlessly get good grades. Stuff like that. Let's take each their own, whatever you want to do. And I will keep you guys posted on, you know, how much of a difference it makes. I do really believe that it will make a difference just because sometimes it's hard to be on top of affirmations, but it's so important because, like, everything I said about your subconscious, but yeah it's hard like it really is hard you know like if you guys want a little peek into my manifestation bullet journal whatever you want to call it let me know and i can make a separate video i just got oil all over this page wow i'm mad anyways let it go let that feeling go babe that's an ugly feeling um so ignore it but basically it's it's called a year in pixels and so you see that the months of the year at the top and then i have if it was a good day if it was a bad day if it was a sad day productive sick whatever I try to stay on top of it like every i probably do a check-in once a week and i don't know if you guys saw me looking at my phone because i take pictures of literally everything i do everything i do so i typically every couple days look back into my photos Sometimes even my group chat with my friends and just see how I was doing, where my head was at. And all that's left is to plan out what I want to talk about in therapy and everything I said earlier in my manifestation journal. We're going to light our candles and listen to a meditation and drink chamomile tea while we do that. I also am truly thinking about making a full youtube video about like sleeping issues because i don't want to say this i don't want to say it's chronic because it's starting to look like i have some kind of chronic insomnia i'm really really trying to work on that in every way i can you know day by day <sighs> if you guys didn't know your girl stopped smoking and again i want to make a whole nother video about that too but that has definitely made an impact on my sleep in a positive and a negative way because when i would smoke and like i mean maybe a handful of you guys know this but i would smoke every night literally every night because of that it would knock me out most of the time like unless i was really stressed or really anxious so falling asleep is the hardest part for me 
what's made it even harder the past week or so is the medication that I need a full refill on it has a little bit of a sedative and that one I take twice a day and I haven't been taking it so it's made everything even harder but I don't know what kind of what kind of not manifestation music what's the word like the, um, I don't know what kind of like frequency sound I want to play or if I want to play music. I mean, I could do both. I am tired, so let's get to it. I think I want to listen to Janae. I think I've spoken about this on this channel, how like Janae has helped me. But also how I touched on earlier, how like my first spiritual awakening when I first realized my powers, it was all I listened to in that period of my life. Do I look scary in this light? I look like a grease ball. That was crazy. And I was listening to, I forgot what it's called. I'm not about to get up, but um, something Mantra by Janae. The second I finished, like I was listening to it and part of the, of the, the manifestation I was doing is like you have to write it, say it, and visualize it. And so as soon as I finished visualizing it, I closed my journal and I looked at the time and it was 1 1 1 a.m. I'm debating if I want to get another one of these. But yeah, I'm so tired and I'm literally, I don't know, I told myself I was going to read more, but no. <laughs> really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. It definitely is, it definitely has been my most like vulnerable personal video yet, but that's what I'm here for. That's what I want to do. Or part. That's one of the things I want to do. Let me not say what I want to do. But hope that you guys got something from this video. Whatever it may be. And honestly, I don't remember half of the things I talked about. So if you made it to the end of the video, please comment. Please comment below. What should I say? Comment. Mm. Comment a white heart if you're still here. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next week. Mwah.
Yeah.